For this week's tip, I want to share with you some tips and tricks that I shared last week at the Tableau London conference and then again on the Friday afternoon project presentations for the data school. So let's go ahead and start by building a simple view that is maybe sales by subcategory and let's go ahead and sort that and maybe color it by profit. Okay, let's fix our color here. Maybe make it red to black and set the center to zero. Okay, so we get something nice and neat like that. But really what we want to do is we, uh, the, the request has actually come in that they want the bar length to be profit and the color to be sales. So we need to swap these two measures. So if I hold on a Mac, I'm going to hold the command key down. On a PC, you hold the control key. And I'm going to multi-select profit and sales. And then right click on either one of them and choose swap. And you'll see that my profit is now in the rows and my sales is, in the, is on the color shelf. So that's a quick way that you can swap two dimensions. Okay, the next one relates to copying and pasting data into Tableau. So let's start by maybe building a view that is perhaps we want to look at sales by region. Something very simple. And you're, somebody sends you an Excel spreadsheet that looks like this, and uh, they or they, maybe they just email you some text or something, and uh, this is all you get, and you need to basically show the budget on the view as well. So to start, I'm going to just go ahead and copy the, uh, the, the, the data in Excel. And over in Tableau, you can simply right, I'm sorry, not right click, you can go up to the data menu and do paste data, or I could have hit command V, that would have worked as well. And you'll see that Tableau brings us in as a clipboard data source, which is really, really nice. Okay, so going back over here, I can now blend this <clears throat> by region, and maybe I want to put uh, at a reference line for my sum of my budget for each cell, maybe I'll hide the value, hit OK, and there we go, nice and neat. OK, that looks pretty good. Um, but the problem is it looks like East is missing. So let's go ahead and duplicate this sheet, and I'm going to delete that one. And uh, so what the problem here is that East isn't showing up, and that's because in our data set we've got E in our, in our region for some reason. So uh, because Tableau and Tableau does a blend, it does it on the alias names. So I'm going to go to my clipboard data source, right click on region and choose aliases. And then I'm just going to simply go in here and type east and hit OK. And now you see that I get my nice little reference line for east. Uh, another neat little tip is if you ever need to clear an alias, so sometimes you'll have a long list of items, let's say you've got 100 items in here and you've got maybe 10 of them are aliased and you only need to clear maybe one or two of them. If I click this clear aliases button, that'll clear every alias, but if I want to clear just a single alias, so for example, let, let me, let's just call this one Southie for some reason. And let's say that I want to just clear Southie to, to set to reset it. I can just double click on that, hit delete, and then enter. And you'll see that it resets, uh, Tableau resets it back to its original value. So that's another quick little tip there as well. So let's call this alias blending. All right, another neat little trick is, uh, let's say that, uh, let's, let's start with this one again. And let's say we've got uh, region in the columns. I'll just rebuild the same view. We've got sales. And over here, we want to dual axis. Um, oh, I'm sorry, not region. We want to dual axis our budget. Okay, and let's make them both bars, something like that. And maybe we want to, uh, let's, let's drag, how about we put, uh, let's put measure names on the size. And let's, or no, let's leave it like that for now. And let's say that we want this one to be a Gantt bar. So we're kind of mimicking reference lines. So one of the things you'll notice is that the scales are not quite right. So let me go to my sum of sales here, maybe make these bars a little thinner so it's a little easier to see the references. Okay, so I'm going to assign my palette. All right, awesome, there we go. All right, so now if I, you'll see that my axes are not quite synchronized. If I right click, you see how synchronized axis is grayed out? So the reason for that is if you ever run into that is because these are different data types. So if I right click on sales and I go to uh, change data type, you'll see this one is a decimal. 
If I go to my clipboard and right click on budget and go to change data type, you'll see this is a whole number. So they need to be the same data type in order to synchronize them. So I'm going to switch uh, my budget to decimal. And now when I right click on my axis, I can now synchronize. So that's a neat little way to fix dual axis synchronization problems. Okay, and lastly, um, let's say that you are Paul Chapman at EasyJet and you created this, this view and uh, you know this is the way that you love to show things. You like Comic Sans for your font in the, uh, for the airlines and this whatever this crazy font is in, in green text down here on the axis. But you're t uh, somebody else has taken over for Paul and they decide, you know what? I want to clean this up a little bit. Um, I actually don't mind. Let's let's pretend that you don't mind this this axis down here. You don't mind the formatting there, but you want to change the formatting on just the font here. So if I right click on my uh, on an airline and choose format, one of the little tips that Tableau gives you, you can see I've got my formatting in here, and I could probably try to pick the correct format. But what Tableau does is uh, whenever you have changed the default format for, a, uh, for anything in the view, it will bold this word. So for example, if I set my alignment to left because I want my airlines left aligned, notice how the word alignment is now bold. So let's say that I want to clear just one of those. Um, perhaps I want to leave it left aligned, but I want to reset my font. If I right click on font, I can choose clear. And there we go, now my font is reset. So I'm gonna back up for a second. There is a clear button down the bottom here. If I click on that, that will clear all of the defaults for anything that was set as bold here. But uh, so the reason why you might want to do this, uh, why you might want to just clear an individual one is because let's say that you do want to leave the left alignment and you just want to clear the font and reset it. So. Um, that's a neat little way to do that. And then perhaps from here, maybe you create a calculated field to show EasyJet. So I'm going to say airline equals uh, EasyJet and hit OK. And maybe put that on the color because I want to highlight just EasyJet. And then I've got a nice little easy, I've got a nice uh, EasyJet color palette. So I'm going to set the trues to their brand of orange and the rest of them to gray. And now you can see that EasyJet sticks out nice and neat. So again, you just right click on the axis or, or on the, the item that has some custom formatting, choose format, and whenever you see a bold, you can just right click and clear. And there you go. So that's it for this week. If you have any other suggestions for tips, please let me know. Have a great week.